The number five worst play of all time. Jim Marshall's long way run. Is there anything worse than watching Jim Marshall run the wrong way in an NFL game? There's nothing worse than that. Nothing. There's no play ever. You can't even find a play more humiliating than that play. Stops, throws, completes it to Kilmer up at the 30-yard line. Kilmer driving for the first down, loses the football. I'm always rooting for the D lineman who picks up the fumble. Seeing the ball loose, seeing the goalpost kind of triggered, you know, pick it up and run. It's picked up by Jim Marshall, who's running the wrong way. Marshall is running the wrong way. And he's running it into the end zone the wrong way. Thinks he scored a touchdown. He had scored a safety. How foolish did he feel when he got in the end zone and turned around waiting for his teammates to mob him? And they're like, you idiot, what have you done? Jim, you ran the wrong way. One of the 49er players came up and and said, thanks, Jim. Uh, you knew right away. You really messed up this time. Jim Marshall wrong way run is brutal because you have one of the greatest players of his era uh, and dependable players of his era just got confused. In his 20-year career, Marshall recovered a record 28 opponent's fumbles, including one in 1964. When he scooped up the ball, and ran his way to infamy. Not many players have nicknames based on a gaff. Wrong way, Marshall. Jim Marshall is running the wrong way. Marshall is running the wrong way. Poor old Jim, 20-year career. How would you like to have the nickname Wrong Way? Wrong Way Marshall was unique, but his nickname wasn't. That honor belongs to Cal Center Roy Regals, who first earned the Wrong Way moniker with his backward dash in the 1929 Rose Bowl. Did Roy Regals get tackled? After Marshall's infamous run, Regals sent the Vikings defensive lineman a note that read, Welcome to the club. I think that's like clearly tool of the month club. When you go the wrong way, you should clearly be top three. Jim Marshall is one of the purple people leaders. I'm not going to mess with him. You want to tell him he's got the worst play of all time? You go right ahead. It took a lot of guts for me to go back on that field because, you know, I took football very seriously and I had um, made, uh, you know, the biggest mistake uh, you could probably make. Marshall's wrong way run was a bad play but didn't affect the final outcome. Big Jim redeemed himself, forcing a fumble that sealed the Vikings' victory. What really helped me through that whole thing was the fans. A lot of the people have come up to me and talking seriously about this and said, you know, we really had a lot of respect for you, you know, continuing on after that and doing as well as you did and playing as long as you played. 